anxiety can be so overwhelming and tough for us as adults, but it's absolutely heartbreaking when it comes to our kids. Being a doc at PwC Chiropractics has made me see this firsthand. You know, whether it's the six-year-old that doesn't want to go to school, the 10-year-old that gets the anxiety and the stomach pains, or, or even the teenager that just doesn't want to engage socially with her peers because she's so worried, she's so stressed out, she's so anxious. Things just tend to pile up for our kids. And while we've seen it at PwC, and we've seen it out in our communities, it hits harder during these big transitions, such as back to school. So today, I wanted to chat about three steps into helping our kids with anxiety and tie it back to the nervous system and how it really works so that we can tackle both sides, not only externally where it's coming from, but also internally how nerves that fire together start to wire together and then honestly stress stacks upon itself. Oftentimes, right, anxiety starts with one little external thing. It could be a bullying situation. It could be, you know, you, ha you do bad on a test. You have an accident in school for a little kid. After that happens though, the, the, the brain actually develops these patterns that makes it very tough for a kid to work through. And honestly, that's why the first step in, in any time tackling anxiety or worry in any kiddo from little and younger in elementary school into teenage years is talking to them, is finding out the cause, which you as a parent have probably done. That means talk therapy, support from a counselor, a teacher, getting in there and really finding out, okay, where did this external factor of the anxiousness come from? Because then we're gonna be able to say, okay, we can eliminate that or we can conquer that from the external side. The problem with this is, is oftentimes that signal, that, 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 that feeling, it gets hardwired in our nervous system as I mentioned, nerves that fire together, wire together. And we really need to look at the cause of that and say, okay, how do we help that internal nervous system relax so it doesn't tie to those bad stressors? How do we help unwind that? And I wanna show you a little bit about that today of what that really looks like from a nervous system perspective. So I'm gonna change views here real quick. And what this is, is this is a simple analogy that we show when a new patient comes into our office, is we look at two main things. We look at what we call the gas pedal and the brake pedal. And that might sound overly simplistic, but those tie to two sides of the nervous system, the sympathetic side, the gas pedal, and the parasympathetic side, the brake pedal. Now, these are two sides that we cannot be in simultaneously. And when kiddos get amped up with anxiety, we tend to have this gas pedal side go absolutely through the roof. That comes from the emotional stressors. It comes from the physical side of it, right? When a kiddo struggles with anxiety, their shoulders are gonna come up. Flexion's gonna come forward. Oftentimes, even then, their stomach hurts. They might not be as hungry. They might not wanna eat. Digestion might go the wrong way. But that's this gas pedal side of the nervous system being more stuck in that fight or flight mode. It's a protective state for our kiddos. Is They're doing this to say, hey, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel right. So while that anxiousness is the feeling, the root cause of it is deep down their nervous systems in that protective fight or flight state. You contrast this with the brake pedal. The brake pedal of the nervous system is that rest, relax, digestion, good immune function. It's where the body's in that growth, healing, and development side. And oftentimes, it's the opposite of the worrying and overwhelmed symptoms. So when a kiddo gets stuck in that gas pedal, that sympathetic protective mode, they just can't easily switch back to that brake pedal, rest and relax side. So when this happens and we find out that deeper cause in their story, we have to measure and test it. That's number two. The number two step is to measure and test where all that stress is coming from. Because that, like I said, can affect sleep. It can affect digestion and stomach pains. It can affect emotional regulation and behaviors. All those different things we wanna unpack to say, here's the root cause of it so that we can, we can get into it. Now, each kid is unique. I mentioned a six-year-old, a 10-year-old, a teenager. Unfortunately, we've been able to help all types of kids in all different ages with similar, similar symptoms as this, but it's gotta be a unique care plan for them. 
Some kiddos, honestly, they need more talk therapy. They need more support. They need more counseling. But we've seen all of the kiddos that we've taken care of get so much better completely when there's a neurologically focused care plan to help them with that internal side of it too, to help their nervous system be less over here on this gas pedal and more over here on this brake pedal to help their body just be more in relax or chill mode to get that sleep, to get that rest. Here's why I say this, is we actually track in our office the improvements that kiddos have after they come in. And the majority of our kids, and I'll even put adults here on this, what they've seen improve first is better sleep, better move, and better emotional regulation when they actually start care. That is the perfect recipe for helping a kiddo with anxiety. If you can get them sleeping, if you can get their emotions under control, if you can get their mood a little bit better, that is gonna help them so much more than those nasty side effects oftentimes that happen with medications or treatments of that such. So it's definitely a unique, it's definitely a multi-faceted approach for all these kids to help them with, you know, having the right people in their life, having you as parents really engage with them and having a neurologically focused pediatric chiropractor on their side can really make all the difference if they're struggling with anxiety, worry, or overwhelm. I know it's tough when it deals with our kids. We've been blessed to be able to help so many kids in our community. If that kiddo is yours, we would love to have a consult with you. We'd love to talk through it. We'd love to hear their story and hear exactly how it's causing, causing their struggles because every kiddo is unique and we wanna talk about it. We wanna give you the answers. We wanna give you the help. We wanna give you that care plan that can help them get to the bottom of this and get to them to have the best school year ever.